Over the last few years, it seems that hair salons keep popping up while men's barbershops are fewer and fewer. How each gets licensed is completely different. In this week's Best of Minnesota, Chris Schaefer takes us to Red Wing, where the traditional men's barbershop is making a resurgence. Back in the day, if a guy needed a quick trim, some good conversation. How's this lawn mowing gig going so far? Or a good laugh. Chris, where do you get your hair cut at? It looks that bad. Huh? <laughs> All you had to do is go to town and find that mesmerizing barber pole, and you knew you were in a place where a guy could be a guy. Mike, who cuts your hair? Uh, you know, there aren't any other good barbers in town. <laughs> Only brothers can talk that way, right? These two brothers, Mike and... This is my older looking younger brother, Kevin. Spent their childhood on the East Coast, but now make up the entire staff at Mike's Barbershop in Red Wing. And their story, like any good story, has taken a few twists and turns. Was an automotive service technician for about 13, 14 years. And when the economy downturned, I ended up out of a job and looking for a career. As fate might have it, Mike's search for his calling ended in a barber's chair. I was getting my hair cut one day by a couple of uh, old barbers that are retired now, Jerry and Larry. And uh, I don't know, they kind of sold me on looking into becoming a barber. After barber school, Mike moved to Red Wing, where he cut hair in a couple of different shops. About five years ago, I opened up my own business. Really, I got busier than one person could handle here. My brother Kevin got out of the military. We knocked the wall out and added a second station, and it's been about a year now that he's been with me. I get to hang out with pretty much my best friend every day when it comes down to it, so I love coming to work. It's great. And I, no BS. Okay, maybe just a little. This building initially was a livery stable. I had an old guy in here tell me that one day. He said this place used to be full of horse crap, now it's full of bull crap. Which is to be expected, but it's Mike and Kevin's attention to detail that keeps the chairs full day in and day out, like knowing the customers. They producing eggs? Pretty cool. To the straight razor neck shave that's included with every cut. That's, that's the difference between a good haircut and a great haircut. Right on. But perhaps the coolest thing I've ever experienced in a barber chair. This is called genie rub. Oh, the genie rub. <laughs> Chris? Chris? I am wearing my retainer, Mom. We're, we're all done. Oh. We're all, done. <laughs> all of the above delivered for 15 bucks. What could be better? other than making mom proud. They were always nice kids and they've grown up to be incredible young men. So the next time you're in Red Wing and you're looking for a shave or a haircut, just look for the barber pole and stop in. This is home and I have no, no desire or intention to ever go back there. Because it looks like these East Coast hair transplants are going to be here for a while. I'm Mike with Mike's Barbershop in Red Wing and... We're the best barbershop in Minnesota! I have got to go on eBay and get one of those genies. They're fantastic. All right, it's first come, first serve at Mike's, and like other traditional barbershops, they're closed on Sundays and Mondays. Just a nice finishing touch when you're done with the haircut. Hey, you told me you love that thing. Oh. I know. That's the first thing you said. I know. You said, I love the haircut. You're so close yeah. to your brother, too. I love the fact that these guys are like this, and they're working together. Totally That's reminded awesome. me of me and my brother. Oh, did it? Giving each other a hard time back and forth, and uh, there aren't many brothers like that who could probably work, work together, together yeah. day in and day That's out. That's nice. That's it was well. a lot of fun. Yeah. What a, what a good experience. Thank